Hello everyone, my name is Taylor and today I'm going to be showing you a level 150 ice PvE build. Just to be clear, this is PvE, not for PvP. So my recommendations here would not be the same if you're going to do PvP. That being said, you can probably slap something together based on this guide. Um, ice is an unfortunate school in the current state of the game. And so that needs to be addressed early on. Whereas other schools might have some room for flexibility, ICE's room for flexibility is much lower, or at least it's much more limiting. So I'm going to show you what I'm using. Um, so if you look at my stats, my stats are not perfect. I'm missing a couple of um, important stat pieces, um, but not not so hugely important that I can't showcase the, the, the build. But I cannot. it cannot be understated that these are not perfect and you can have slightly better um, my damage is 142. As an ice, if you're hitting 150s, you're very good. Or you've sacrificed something else. Um, but if you're hitting 150 area, close to 150, you're pretty decent. Um, health is almost 11k. I could add a jewel and I'd be at 11k right now, so it's not a big of a deal. Just don't really want to waste a socket on that. Um, for my resist, I'm at 54. Um, I'll show why that number would probably not change basically at all in a moment um but there would be some swapping so it might go up and down depending on what exactly you're running um, accuracy is only 19 percent. this is the big kicker for this build is that uh um with the correct item with the correct robe you have 23 percent um only 19 with what i'm running currently um, this is the big kicker for ice. Accuracy is a nightmare for this school, and I'll get into why in a moment. Uh, critical rating 5808. It'll for your build. It'll range somewhere around this area. Uh, block rating 321. Great block. Uh, some a bit higher for the other schools. Armor pierce 25. Um, this is about what you're going to be looking at. A 20 and 11 out. Not that that matters that much. Good pip conversion for me, just because of what I'm running won't be the same for you necessarily um i'll get into that one perfect pip all good things so let's get into what i'm wearing uh for the hat i've got the dragoon's hat i would love to say that you can just rock the merciless and be fine but unfortunately for this school merciless really isn't an option because you're you just cannot break away from this accuracy problem and uh, if you want to run the merciless i'll show you how it's done but I just want to be clear that ice is a school that you have a lot of trouble with this accuracy pip issue and you have to make huge sacrifices in order just to get this right and even though my build is in that direction it's still not right so dragoon hat crafted um i think everyone knows how to get this now but uh farm abandoned house get vanguards crafting dragoons uh, i'm running the bone masters robe because i drops will not spawn but the, the robe you want is the Malastaris uh, Ice Robe, the ar Armor of the Cold Hearted. Um, the damage is slightly lower, but your pip and most importantly, your accuracy is just a bit higher where you don't, you have 0% chance of fizzling base spells and then like a 2% chance of fizzling anything else. It's really unfortunate that Ice is in this situation. Um, if you have this, uh, if you're running the Merciless and if you're running this uh, this kind of alternate option I'm going to talk about, you can run Tennyson's. In fact, I recommend it if you're going to go that route. Um, for boots, we're since we're running Dragoon Hat, we're running Dragoon Boots. You get the nice blade, sharpen, uh, sharpen blade, potent trap. Uh, for one, I'm running this guy, Captain's Boarding here at the 131. Um, this is a crowns item. I don't like to showcase too many crowns items when I'm showing off builds. Um, I don't have it, but the Supreme Wand, definitely good. You get two more damage. You, you kind of make up for some lost damage elsewhere. Uh, you get less crit, and you're going to get uh, you're gonna get the exact same pierce, though. This is kind of why I went for the Sky Captain's Boarding Hook, because Ice doesn't get pierce anywhere. You can also go for the, uh, one, the, uh, the upgraded version of this tome. Uh, there's a lot of, like, options in Ice. It's... It's kind of a weird school because you just don't have a lot of stats you get from stuff. I, as you can see, I have a lot of just like random crown things, uh, uber staff. All these things are basically all viable. It's kind of up to you what you have. This school really struggles on this front. So I 
wouldn't worry all too much about having a perfect wand set up on this school. For Athame, I'm running the Merciless Ice Athame. This gives 1,100 health. That's the big kicker. It gives that beautiful 168 block, 18 damage. That's great for ice. Um, we got the two Pierce Jewels. Got uh, Power Pip socketed, health socketed. Merciless Amulet. I would have the Dragoons, but farming for Dragoons for my ice to get three more damage, not that big of a deal to me, especially because I don't really care that much about my ice. Not enough to... Um, <laughs> grind out more dragoons just because i'm very tired of doing it if i'm if i'm perfectly honest and a lot of people agree with me but if you're just on ice main go for the dragoon amulet okay just go for the amulet get the three more damage you lose like one resist uh and a little bit of luck but it's you'll get the damage you get about the same stat it's it's great uh, either one you're fine merciless or dragoons it's whatever i'm running this ring is very good fixes any act uh, pip issues you might have um also 12 percent damage great this ring is just the best damage ring in the game. Um, the crit rings are not really worth it for this goal. I mean, this is the high damage one. The lower damage one is 14. And you get like, you know, 60. You With the circle, you get like, you know, 60 crit, 14 damage. The crit rings aren't really worth it for this school. Just run the damage ring. Um, might as well. Um, my pet is a double triple. It's not a 2.0, so I just have a boon on it. So I'm missing one damage and two resists from this pet. Not that big of a deal, but uh, that's what you could expect. I'm not running any special mounts. I don't have any special mounts for ice. My deck, I'm running the Rats, the, the Rats Butons deck. The best decks in the game right now are the crafted uh, triangle socket ones from uh, down here. <laughs> down here where I am. And the, uh, the decks, the Supreme decks. I like these because they give more cards, and I just like having the ability to move around cards because I like to do a lot of kind of solo that just has a lot of more fun in the game. I've, that's the way I play. You don't need to play that way. You'll get better stats if you run a better deck, um, but it really doesn't matter. Once you've once we've kind of hit the Rasputin deck, really, all the decks after are just small upgrades. You can definitely, instead of going, uh, you can definitely get more crit, more block, more health out of the other ones. Less cards. Doesn't really matter. The big thing is the Triangle Sockets of Pip Jewel. Um, so that's my eye stats. That's, that's how I've built my eyes. That's how I've gotten these stats. Your stats will probably look a little different because you might not have the Sinbad wands or you might be still using it on a storm for some reason. And that's okay. Um, but that, that's what I'm doing. Um, but let's say you want to fix this pip issue entirely and you want to be able to run a little, may, maybe you want to run the merciless gear and that's, that's great. <laughs> the problem is I won't, I don't have a hat. I don't. I have the Malevolent, um, but I think I can make my point with it. Um, you can't get the stats you want with Pip and Accuracy with this. So what you want to do is you want to run the Morgant Amulet with uh, Accuracy. The the Dark Moon one's acceptable too, but Morgant one just you get one more damage. Why not? It, it gives it's a, it's kind of whatever. It's up to you which one you want. I'm gonna run the Morgant one because that's the one I have socketed. Uh, it gives the accuracy you need. Twenty. I'm at the twenty nine and. Uh, I'm at a high pip, so that means you can swap to Merciless Boots. I'm going to lose a set bonus here. Uh, my resist goes up, my accuracy is high enough, and then I can swap to... Uh, this is a plus. So the, it, just for comparison, the Merciless Hat is basically one stat higher than Malevolent, so 14 pip, uh, 6 accuracy, you know. So this is going to... Um, your your damage is going to be higher. You're going to be able to hit that 150 mark, but easier. Your accuracy is still going to be a little bit of an issue, but like you run you run the the dragons, not dra you run the uh, dark mode one. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. The the reason why this build, in my opinion, is just a little worse is this this health these these health numbers really just start to suck. The more you kind of swap away from dragoons, unfortunately, this is not a school where you can get away from that dragoons base very easily even if you're just swapping to this so you can get that good accuracy you're still down to only 10k as opposed to that almost you know that 11k marker which is a nice marker to hit it's not the end of the world and if you don't want to go through the process of farming it's fine you're also losing block which is becoming more and more relevant um but like this is the other option and then this can allow you to run tennisons which is a little bit better damage wise crit wise a little bit worse accuracy and pip so, um, the, the, there's a lot of options with ice in like the way you get to, how you get to build it for the way you want to play it. But a lot of the problem is a lot of them are ugly and require you to kind of sacrifice, 
um, the advantage of ice, the tankiness of ice. So this is why I'm running the, the way I'm running. Anyway, that's my ice video. I hope that was insightful to someone. Uh, ice is just a very difficult school, and I hope I explained that well, and anyone who plays this school kind of understands what I'm talking about. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. I'll have a storm and fire uh, and life guides up very soon hereafter. Um, if you enjoyed, please subscribe, hit the like, share with your friends. It really helps out. Uh, have a nice day and goodbye.